an incredible display of Christmas spirit. $26,000 raised in our area going to Toys for Tots this year alone. That's a lot of money. It is. For one person mm -hmm. to raise. And 10 News reporter Abby Coleman talked to the Salem man known as Naughty Santa and found the reason behind the suit is deeper than you think. If you've ever been through the city of Salem at Christmas time, chances are you've seen a Santa Claus standing on the street corner. You can sometimes see him out on the corner of Main Street waving and in his Santa suit and his elliptical bike. The man in the naughty Santa hat is Larry Wills, and the reason behind the suit is more than meets the eye. And the last picture I have of my brother, and it was just a joke we did, uh, he had a naughty hat on and a lump of coal. Larry wanted to make his brother smile when he was hospitalized after a stroke. He managed to raise money for a good cause at the same time. I just happened to be out with my buddy Lefty, and he told me, he said, dress as Santa Claus, and let's make people smile. They ran into the Marines with Toys for Tots, and that's where the idea for a Naughty Santa fundraiser was born. I have an idea. Let me see if I can make $100 in a week. They called me, and uh, after that week, uh, we ended up making uh, a little over 1100 They said, keep going. Larry's brother was able to see the pictures that helped raise the money shortly before he passed away. And he's seen all his friends and buddies and the town of Salem uh, with uh, doing the Naughty Santa Claus and uh, doing a fundraiser in his name. Three years later, and he's raised over $50,000 for Toys for Tots, 26000 this year alone. He also dedicates the fundraiser to former Salem coach John Hinkle, who passed away earlier this year. But I feel my brother's spirit. Larry never thought that a $5 picture in a naughty Santa hat would turn into a citywide staple. Yesterday when I was counting, I counted it 12 times because I kept crying. In Salem, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.